Smith is with me. I'm Martin Tyler. Delighted to have your company for this match today. Our match today is Wolverhampton Wanderers against West Ham United. Well, he really could be the star of the show today. Three in his previous match, a hat-trick. He'll be looking for more today. And here is the way Wolves are set out for this vital fixture. We put it up as a 5-2-3, it could be 3-4-3, three, three, couldn't it, if the wide players get forward from the back? Yeah, I think it's one of those, it could be anything the manager wants it to be. He has got some very talented lads out there, though. West Ham United's lineup is this. I think that back four is really important for them. They've got to be strong and solid, but they've got a bit of protection, haven't they? They have. They should have more than enough. I mean, they're all good defenders in their own rights, but uh, in front of them, they've got players who are going to be working really hard. Whether they can be a threat on the front foot, we'll wait and see. West Ham always associated with what is still England's only World Cup success, 1966. Bobby Moore, Martin Peters and Jeff Hurst. And they feel in that part of London that they won the World Cup for England. Well, yes, they do. They'll never forget those times. But I think they're looking forward to some really exciting years as well at West Ham. Well, that is a cheap piece of play to give the ball away like that. Jan Moutinho, Doherty, probing away, trying to find room for a shot maybe, looking for teammates in the middle, oh very easy for the goalkeeper there, Marco Arnautovic, that's good movement forward here, Diop, Anatovic. Marco Anatovic. Good interception. To Bennett. Giamutinho. Under some pressure, he shielded it well. Crafting the through pass. Attacking team not happy about that offside call, but we can see it again here. Well, he is quick, this lad, and he can afford to give himself another yard. I think he's got the beating of these defenders in a race. Jimenez. Now here's a chance to get at the opposition. It is a team that can really hurt you with the number of passes that they play. It's a good challenge by West Ham to get the ball back. Cresswell. Diop. Mark Noble. Noble, Rice, Rice, Marko Anatovic, that's good support play from his teammates. Rice, a space to get the cross in. He's got it back again from his teammate. Rice, and now to Rich. And that's good play by the defender. 
because had he messed up then, it would have cost a goal, I'm sure. For West Ham, a genuine challenge, but a genuine prospect of victory if they get it right against today's opposition. Mark Noble. Zabaleta. Pablo Zabaleta. Well, here comes the support. Put in from the wide area. Can he finish? Routine for the keeper. Jimenez. Here's Jota. Good reading of the by anticipating the pass. A real problem if he loses the ball. Marco Arnautovic. The Not goes the board. There'll be two added minutes. Of two minutes of added time. Diogo Jota. Jimenez. So it's half time and we're still waiting for that first goal. Well, he's been in the game, hasn't he? That's the best we can say for him. Um, but not everything he's tried has come off. Didn't quite have the impact I was expecting at the start, but time to remedy that. So we're all set for the second half. Jean Moutinho. Jimenez. Excellent interception. Test of his control now. Now Doherty. That's a great interception. Rice. Trying to find an opening, not panicking. And now to Rich. Return pass. That's a fine challenge, and he's got the ball. It's going to be a change for West Ham coming up. Throw-in coming up. Substitution for West Ham United. Two substitutions to come, one from each camp. Mikhail Antonio. Coming onto the pitch, number 11, Robert Snodgrass. Good position, they've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now. Doherty, Jimenez. We've had an hour gone here and still 30 minutes left. Cresswell. Opportunity in a wider area. There was danger, but he's cleared it. On out of it! And they've scored. And they've opened the scoring here. Well, if you keep going in to that sort of area, the ball will drop for you, and it dropped perfectly for him. I think that's a lesson to anybody uh, enduring a goal drought. Keep getting into the positions in the 18-yard, in the six-yard box, and you will score. West Ham with this advantage. Goal for West Ham United, number seven. Mark 
moving forward with some danger to the opposition now they're here lost his marker cleverly and that ball belongs to the goalkeeper 20 minutes of the 90 still to play noble robert snodgrass mark noble Felipe Anderson. And now the shot! He's on out of it! Super reflexes from the goalkeeper. Now it's gone behind, it'll be a corner for West Ham. In goes the corner. Snodgrass! That'll be another corner coming up. And the keeper's got to it with his fingertips. It's over the bar. Corner played in. Oh, now to it! Oh, what a fine goal! They lead by two now. They'll feel a little bit more comfortable, and they're good value for this advantage at the moment. And it's worked for West Ham. Well, the uh, attention to detail from the coach on these kind of set pieces, he's faultless. He'll be delighted with that. Restarting at 2 0. Goal for West Ham United. Number seven, Marco Amati. Diogo Jota. Gian Moutinho. Getting forward well as a team now. Strong challenge. Marco Anatovic. Presswell. Marco Arnautovic. They are a class act as a team, this group of players. Quick and they're slick with their work. Well, the manager will be enjoying the sight of it, but he'll also be demanding an end product to it. Cresswell. Put into the middle. A little touch on. Got his head to it well, but no power. Did well to, to get there first, to find some space, but... Couldn't apply the finishing touch. Felipe Anderson. Superb shimmy then. Well, when you want a player to beat and defend that in a one-on-one, -on -one, he is that boy. Chance to put it in the box from here. Well, they're going to make the change to the wide player, the winger, and it looks to me as though he's done pretty well, Alan. What did you think? Yeah, good old-fashioned wing play. Had the better of his fallback for large parts of this match and uh, top performance. Well, here comes the corner, and they get it away. Diop. Trying to get behind the defenders to get in a good cross. Shot off, and he's taken the chance beautifully. Well, that really is rubbing salt into the wounds. It's been a one-horse race out there today. Well, disappointment for the losing team, but I'm afraid the winners deserve this margin, which is being confirmed by this very late goal. Yeah, it's been a, a walkover. You don't often get games like this at this particular level, but so one-sided. little surprising that it is as one-sided as this late in the game but the team leading did West Ham have won it they've won it in good style 
and winning is such a joy of course the converse of that is the pain of defeat and they're feeling that pain at the moment well i don't think they can have any complaints there weren't many in that team that uh, claimed to have had a decent game well undoubtedly he was the star man today so often we think of his creative abilities that knack of picking out a pass but today it was all about his finishing a really good couple of goals in this team win